New tonight at 530, a warning that all of us parents really need to hear. This after an eight-year-old soccer player died on the field, eight years old. He told his dad he didn't feel right, and minutes later, he died. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lundberg is live tonight. Rachel, you spoke to a pediatric cardiologist today. What did the doctor have to say? This is really scary when parents hear something like this. Exactly, Bill. Bottom line, it's scary for anyone, especially parents who might have kids at practice right now or out here at the park playing. But the doctor said that tomorrow they're definitely going to be hearing a lot of the phones ringing, parents trying to schedule their children a doctor's appointment after this story. He told me, like, Daddy, I can't see. Daddy, I can't see. And it's, it's, he fell. And um, started, what? started doing a little I've all seen a little bit. Minutes before, eight-year-old Caleb Ray was kicking a soccer ball. Today I have video of him uh, uh, practicing his goalie uh, probably 10 minutes before his heart stopped, and he's jumping up and down. NBC Charlotte has covered several fatal events like this. Aaron Barker, the basketball player at Olympic High School. He said practice was good, hour and a half, not even. Later, Taryn was coming in my room saying Aaron was unresponsive. Another incident at Providence Day, 16-year-old Billy Cohen collapsed on the soccer field. CPR saved his life, but it didn't save Caleb's, and there wasn't a defibrillator on the field. But when it happens and you hear about an event in West Virginia, and you're sitting here in Charlotte, it makes you wonder, huh, what about my children? David Olmstead, pediatric cardiologist with Novant Health, says these heart defect fatal events happen to about one in every 200,000 kids out playing. What are some symptoms that parents can definitely be on alert for for their children? Changes in tolerance to exercise. So if six months prior you could run sprints at X amount of time, and now you feel now it's a little, it takes a little longer, it's a little more difficult, or you're getting winded more easily, those are important, sometimes subtle symptoms. Better to be over cautious. Also, I reached out to CMS. They got back to me and said that they have an AED, which is an automated external defibrillator on every school's campus, but it's crucial to know where they're at, how to use them, and when to use them. Reporting live at Freedom Park, I'm Rachel Lundberg for NBC Charlotte. You know, Rachel, that is a scary story to hear. It's very sad, but it is one all of us parents need to hear. Thank you.